Kentucky governor's race is heating up as Governor Bevin has now called for a formal review of the vote totals. In the last hour, we heard from Governor Bevin about his decision to file for a recanvass. Initial results show Attorney General Andy Bashir beat the Republican governor by about 5,000 votes. So on nine on your side, Josh Bazan is live in Newport to explain what happens next and where the race goes from here. Josh. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Craig. Yeah, those 5,000 votes account for less than one half of 1% of the entire statewide vote. This is an extremely close race, and Governor Bevin has refused to concede for what he is calling voting irregularities. Governor Bevin says his campaign has learned of a number of significant irregularities and is in the process of getting affidavits and gathering more information. The Democratic Secretary of State says nothing in this year's election was out of the ordinary, and she's seen nothing that would impact 5,000 votes. But Governor Bevin says he wants to ensure the integrity of the election and guarantee the person with the most votes is named governor. We know there have been thousands of, of uh, absentee ballots that were illegally counted. That's, that is known, uh, and this again is something that's being looked into. Uh, we know that there are reports of people having been turned away, uh, incorrectly turned away from various uh, voting booths around the state. Again, things that need to be corroborated and looked into. Uh, these are some of the things that we're in the process of determining. Meanwhile, Attorney General Andy Bashir is declaring victory and moving forward with his transition team. He says no matter what Bevin's campaign tries to do to turn this result around, it will only prove Bashir got more votes and will be the person sworn into office in December. Now that the election is over, um, that it gives me an opportunity uh, to, to prove myself to every single Kentuckian out there, whether they voted for me or not. That re-canvas of votes will check each county's vote machines to be sure they added up the totals correctly, and it will take place next Thursday. Reporting live in Newport, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.